Today I'm playing with my son's electricity set to show you some circuits. First of all I'll show you the pieces. So today we want to light up this bulb. We're going to get the electricity to go in through here, around the filament and then out. I'm going to put it into this piece. If I show you on the other side you can see that the electricity travels through these strips of steel. So I'm putting it in now. And I'm going to start making this first circuit. If I show you these parts that we have instead of wires, Again, on the other side, you can see there's steel that the electricity travels through. Most metals conduct electricity very well. There's one. Next bit. Two long. And the final piece, clip it all together. So I've got my strips going round to make this circuit, but oh dear, it's only attached to the positive side of the battery, so it's not a complete circuit and the bulb has not lit up. Right, so straight on to number two. One more piece. It's lighting up already. So here we've got a complete circuit. The electricity can flow all the way from the battery to the light bulb and round again and again. So it lights up. Let's try number three. Well, it's almost the same, but there's a bit missing. Number three, straight away you can see it's not a complete circuit. The bulb does not light. We need something to carry the electricity back to the negative side of the battery. Now the last one will take me a minute just to make. Well, we've made a complete rectangle here. Time to connect it to the battery. And down here. Is it going to light? No, it's connected to the negative, but not the positive. It's not a complete circuit. We need something here. I don't know what this bit's for. So did you get all your predictions correct? The only complete circuit was number two. Next week, I'm going to make a circuit just like number two 
and I'm going to find out what other things we could use to conduct electricity. We already know that um, steel conducts electricity and so does copper, but plastic doesn't. What else doesn't? So send your ideas for conductors and insulators to Mrs Hawkes this week and we'll try that experiment next week. Bye-bye.